Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be at IBEX, the International Boat Builders Exposition here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's a great show with a lot of really neat, innovative products and services available for us boaters up on the Great Lakes area. So I'm standing here with Carl Hitchcock. He's with a company called Iris Innovations. This is pretty neat. You guys definitely want to learn a little bit more about Iris, so I'm going to turn you over to Carl so he can tell you a little bit more about it. Carl, how are you today, sir? Yeah, I'm very well, thanks. Good, 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 good. Hey, I was walking by, saw this pretty innovative product. Can you tell us a little bit more about Iris? Yeah, sure. This is uh, Iris's 10th year. Uh, we're based out of the UK, and we're just opening up our first uh, US office down in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we manufacture a range of bespoke cameras for the marine industry. Um, a lot of people do cameras in the marine industry, but we're probably the only guys that actually make cameras specifically for marine. We don't take domestic cameras and put them on boats. Uh, we work on housings, we work on the electronics, so that all the cameras are certified, they pass all the required uh, stipulations and certification. Um, and we offer all sorts of cameras, ranging from uh, very simple backup cameras right up to high-end thermal imaging cameras. Outstanding. Can you show us a little bit about the product selection you have here? Sure. We've uh, picked probably some of our uh, best-selling cameras and also a couple of new cameras that are officially going to be launched down at Lauderdale at the end of the month. Um, as I said before, very, very basic cameras, uh, DME 60 and a 35 mm. Um, this is probably our, our best-selling camera and it's just a general all-rounder. Um, initially conceived to be a backup camera. Um, loads and loads of customers put them in engine rooms or either side of radar arches uh, to assist them whilst docking. Cameras are available, as are available in either power and TSC format, and they're also available in uh, standard view or mirror view. So obviously if you've got a, a half view uh, facing camera, you're going to need to be able to flip the uh, image round and right. get the correct orientation on your quarter screen. Okay. Um, moving up through the range, uh, we have dedicated docking cameras. This is the DCSO one this is the first camera we ever made. Um, it features two camera modules designed usually one facing forward, one facing aft. Either side of a radar arch gives you uh, full camera images, you've got complete uh, view all the way around your boat. And then we move into the more exciting cameras, uh, the PTC cameras. This is our RS116 or PTC16 we call it. It's uh, an extremely low light uh, camera module, it's a Sony FCB985 camera module. That will give you visibility in, in next to no light whatsoever. If you've got any ambient light uh, in inland waterways or even a, a, a good starry night, you'll be able to navigate using the camera there. Um, it's got continuous rotation 360 degrees. Uh, it flips up for 180 degrees and corrects the image as it does so. It's just a really, really good, really fast PTZ, PTZ camera. High resolution, it's got a uh, wide dynamic range, digital uh, stabilization. Um, this is a brand new camera here. It's a beast here. This is actually officially going to be launched uh, in Lauderdale at the end of the month. This is the, the Iris 117. It's available here with a range of either IR lights or white LED lights. So you can actually use it as a kind of searchlight. Or with the IR, light, IR lights, you're going to get 60 meters of visibility and absolute pitch and darkness. The cameras also have uh, built-in de-icers, defoggers. So you can use them in any any light. Uh, sorry, any environmental conditions. Then we move up to the more, uh, the more beefy camera options. Uh, this guy here is uh, <coughs> the top of our thermal imaging range. Uh, we call this a PTZ16T. It's a VGA model, which means it's got a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. Um, it's basically a, a very, very highly spec camera. Um, it has a number of uh, color palettes, nine color palettes. Each one of those palettes are invertible, so that actually gives you 18 palettes. It has five built-in scene modes, which basically uh, are kind of like preset modes where the, the, the video is um, accentuated for the, you know, for, the, for the best environmental conditions. Um, again, it's in the same, same gimbal as, as the PGC-16, so you've got 360-degree vision. Um, it tilts all the way up and over. Um, it's a really, really highly speed camera. Then the big out here is the, is the 130. Um, it's a conventional camera, it uses the same camera module as the uh, ETG-16, but it's built into the big rugged housing there. The LEDs on the top are going to give you 130 metres visibility at night. So if you want night vision but you can't, your budget doesn't stretch uh, into the realms of a, a thermal imaging option, the RS-130 is the camera for you. Outstanding. Now where can we go online to find out some more information and, and pricing and so forth for these products? Okay. Uh, you need to go on to www.iris-innovations.com. 
Outstanding. I greatly appreciate your time, Carl. Thanks so much, and enjoy the rest of your day here at the show. Thanks for stopping by.